Spider-Man, who is this Dr. Michaels? I think he's the head scientist on this Devil's Breath project. Did you find him? Yes and no. Sable says they have him under protection at a safe house somewhere in the city. But they won't tell me where. I thought you guys were working together. So did I. Okay. I have an idea on how to find him. I'll let you know if it works. Hey, did you find Dr. Delaney at the party? Yeah, but so did Lee. Oh no, what happened? Lee corrupted him and made him kill himself. That's horrible. We have to stop this guy. We will. Before Delaney died, he gave Lee a name. Morgan Michaels. Morgan Michaels? Who is he? Not sure, but I bet he works on the Devil's Breath project. Have you learned anything from that Devil's Breath file? Yeah, get this. A few years ago, Osborne came to Fisk and asked him to build a lab, but to keep it hidden from regulators. Secret lab? For Devil's Breath? If it's as dangerous as we think it is, I can see why. Where's the lab? It's not in the file. Osborne made Fisk destroy all records of it. All I have are invoices from Osborne's personal account to Fisk Construction. Knowing Fisk, he kept the invoices around for blackmail material on the mayor. Everything leads back to Norman Osborne. Guess it's time to pay him a visit. I doubt he's gonna tell you anything. He wasn't planning to ask. Okay, that's how I can get into Norman's office. Can't get in there without shutting down some security systems. But if they see me, they'll put the whole place on lockdown. I should be able to hack into the security network modules from the outside. There are the network cables. Just need to follow them to the security module. There we go, a security module. Looks like there's four of these around the building. That should make things easier. What the hell? Security teams, call in. Sable Team Alpha standing by. Looks like an electrical problem. Copy that. Keep an eye on the exterior while we try to track down the issue. Just when I thought it would be easy. Sable teams. Looks like we have some sort of software problem. We're calling in a specialist. Copy that. Continuing exterior sweep. There's the second module. What? All agents. Someone's taking control of one of our subsystems. Initiating Delta Protocol. Man, everybody's got drones these days. Sable teams, I need a status report. Exterior sweep negative. We are all clear. Still look like a software issue? We don't know. We're evaluating. Please maintain current alert level. Okay, just two more modules. Attention all Sable teams. There's a small possibility we have a trespasser on site. We're analyzing data now. Stay vigilant. Copy that, Control. There it is. Damn it. Another subsystem is going offline. I need a team to scan the 85th floor exterior. Copy control. Bird inbound. Gotta move. Hi, MJ. A little busy right now. I'll be quick. Listen, I got a lead on Charles Standish's location. I think if I can get to him, I can make him talk. He knew about Dr. Delaney. He probably knows about Morgan Michaels as well. Okay, just... Don't do anything crazy. Speaking of crazy, gotta find that last module.
there's the last one. Nice. Now I can get into Norman's office and hopefully find out more about Morgan Michaels and Devil's Breath. Exterior sweep negative. Should we go on lockdown? Not yet. Mr. Osborne is in the middle of an important call, but keep tracking. There must be someone out there. Ain't nobody here but us spiders. Hold on. Switching to a secure line. I'm way ahead of you, Wilson. I had my people go through all your files. If you try to expose our business arrangement, it'll be your word against mine. And I'm not the one behind bars right now. Wait. Is Norman talking to Wilson Fisk? Neo statue. What are you talking about? The Neo statue from the auction house. They must be talking about that file MJ found. Who has the file? We do, Norman. But it doesn't tell us enough. Which is why I'm doing some slightly illegal but morally acceptable B&E right now. You pompous son of a bitch! You're lying! Ah, oh, don't be too mad, Norman. We know you and Fisk built a secret Devil's Breath lab. But we still don't know where it is and what Michaels has to do with it. Let's hope your computer can tell us more. GR27? Hmm. Dr. Morgan Michaels is the chief scientist, but the location of the lab is redacted. AI-controlled CRISPR? If that actually works, it could cure any genetic disease. Cystic fibrosis? Huntington's? This is crazy. Creepy. Whoa. GR-27 is Devil's Breath. It's designed to cure diseases, but in its current form it's like a bioweapon. Dr. Michaels keeps the only sample with him at all times. That's why Lee wants him. We find Michaels, we find Devil's Breath. Hey Pete, what's up? MJ, get this. Devil's Breath wasn't designed to be a weapon. It's a treatment for genetic disorders. But its current form is wildly imperfect. In trying to fix the body, it rips it apart. We need to locate Dr. Michaels. I don't trust Sable to contain something this deadly. I may have a lead on that. Charles Standish is being held at Sable Central Park compound. If anyone knows Michaels' location, it'll be Oscorp CFO. I'm trying to reach him now. Reach him? That place is crawling with guards. How are you trying to reach him? Very, very quietly. Gotta go, partner. Sneaking into a Sable compound? That could go bad fast. I should head to Central Park. Like Doc checked in. Peter, I've had an epiphany. It's all about the mind. Take me, for example. A mind of unlimited potential, shackled to a tired old body. Think of what that mind could achieve if it were freed. In developing our neural interface, we need to think beyond replicating the tired putterings of our physical forms. Instead, reach into imagination and possibility. Reach into the mind. I've never heard Doc this excited by a project. Hope he's not too excited. Where are you, MJ? Crap. Reach him? That place is crawling with guards. How are you trying to reach him? Very, very quietly. Gotta go, partner. Standish is somewhere in there. Gotta get past that guard. Time to see if these lures Pete gave me work. That gap in the fence looks promising. Just need to distract the guard.
Out of the way. What was that? Gotta move. Now. Gonna check on our house guest. Stay here. Copy. House guest. Must be Standish. He's here somewhere. I need to draw him away from the stairs. What the? What the? What's that? Demons are killing anyone related to Devil's Breath. Standish is in real danger. Got it. Time to move. Guess it was nothing. Standish. I knew it. I've got to get to that tent. Something about Doc. Crap. Generator tripped. I won't distract him for long. Control. Grid's clear. Repeat. Grid's clear. How's it looking? Convoy gonna be ready? Five by five. As soon as boss gives the word, we'll get Michael's moved to the new safe house. They're moving him. Have to find out where before we lose our shot. of Devil's Breath. I will not be responsible for pandemic. Continue. Looks important. Safe houses. If Dr. Michaels is in one of these, Standish might know which one. There, Standish's tent. anyone else to secure it. Hope his ego doesn't bite him in the ass. Or us. Again? What's up with these lights? Charles Standish? Holy crap! Charles, where is Dr. Morgan Michaels? Lee sent you. 
worked, didn't he? No. Okay. If he wants to kill me, you tell him to do it. Do it himself. I'm not with the demons. I'm not with Sable. I'm a reporter. And I want to see Lee stopped. Just like you. Watson. I've read your byline. Sable won't listen to me. She has Michaels in the Bowery. They're moving him to a new safe house tomorrow at noon. But she's totally ignoring Grand Central. Grand Central? The demons were talking about it when they held me. They're going there to get... To get what, Charles? What do the demons need to get at Grand Central? <laughs> what the... Charles! Oh! What the hell? That was not a Sable guy. Definitely not a Sable guy. Sorry, Charlie. Okay, time to Wait, go. No, he knows something. <laughs> well, that was maybe the most awkward swing of my life. MJ is not happy. Sorry, Charlie. <laughs> you knock a man out, destroy my background research, and the best you've got is sorry, Charlie? Is everything a joke to you? What? MJ, no, I, I screwed up. It, it was a tension breaker. Tension breaker, right. <sighs> you know this is exactly why we broke up. I thought we broke up so you could focus on your career. We broke up because you wouldn't stop treating me like a baby. Don't do this, MJ. Don't do that, MJ. Oh, that's too dangerous, MJ. I may not have super spider powers, but I'm not made out of glass. You snuck into the middle of an armed military. You know what? Can we not do this right now, please? Did you learn anything about Dr. Michaels? <sighs> Fine. <sighs> Michaels is in the Bowery somewhere. Sable's moving him tomorrow at noon. Awesome. Anything else? Was he saying something about Grand Central before I jumped in? He was. <sighs> no. It was nothing. Listen, I gotta go, Peter. Filing deadline. Peter. That's how you know she's still mad. Peter. Nice work, Mr. Superhero. Man, I'm worked up. Just gotta blow off some steam on patrol. Here, I should examine the transmitter MJ found. If I can reverse engineer this, it should track Tombstone's shipments.
That should do it. Time for a test run. Just gotta follow the signal. Should lead to whatever it is Tombstone's moving. Tombstone. This guy's the mother of all headaches. Impermeable skin plus zero morals equals bad time. Hope running a chop shop's the worst thing he's up to. There, that truck. Out for a Sunday drive? Oh, crap, it's Spider Man! Call for backup! I'm ending this! Stay down! Oh boy, gang's all here. Biker gang down. Let's see what's in that truck. Uh, chemical containers. But they're scrubbed clean. Looks like they came from the Alchemax plant in Harlem, but what was in them? And that sound means the end of our lightning round. Should head to Alchemax when I get a chance and find out what was in those barrels. Tombstone's up to something. Probably illegal. Definitely dangerous. I'm about to begin another test. Oh, sorry. My bus broke down and uh, there were no cabs. But I'll be there as soon as I can. Miles' is mom. Hello? Mr. Parker? This is Rio Morales. I want to thank you for getting Miles the job at the pizza shelter. Glad to. And please, call me Peter. Mr. Parker is probably someone more together than me. I should tell you, he has reservations. I finally gave him a choice. This or more therapy. He needs this. He just hates to feel like a victim. Or be pitied. Gotcha. I'm the same way. I'll let Aunt May know, and I'll make sure I'm there his first day. 
Thank you again. This means a lot to both of us. There's the Alchemax plant. Huh, good timing. Tombstone's men are loading fresh supplies. What for, though? Is he getting back into drugs? They're heavily armed. This might be easier if I stay quiet. Where are all the security guards? This is a ghost town. Boss. Hey, you guys aren't registered pharmacists. The no lab coats thing gave you away. Tombstone's men are down. Now to find out what's in these barrels. Diox-3? Isn't this the chemical Tombstone was exposed to as a kid? What's he doing with it now? That stuff's not for us. More dudes, more drugs. Someone's got to teach these guys about the dangers of peer pressure. feeling those drug inhalers and the Diox-3 are related. Should analyze an inhaler to find out what's going on here. All right, what's in you? Diox-3 plus designer amphetamines. Pretty clever recipe for temporary invulnerability. I'm impressed. And worried. This stuff hits the street and there'll be a huge market for it. With Tombstone as the sole supplier. Think I can synthesize a counter drug. Wonder if there are any lab supplies in that truck. Time for some artisanal science. There, single dose of the counter drug. Just need to test it out. Hmm. 
Maybe I should pay Tombstone a visit at his chop shop. Time to shut Tombstone down. The angry drug lord drank alone. There's a poem in there somewhere. <laughs> you know better than me. Never was the literary type. How'd you even manage to connect with Martin Lee? I'm top of my game. I don't go knocking. People find me. No? You ever wanted to team up? We could do some real damage. Ah, so flattered. But the exploitation of suffering thing gives me pause. Need to tire him out before I try the counter drug. Could punch a tombstone for days and he wouldn't feel it. Wonder if the counter drug would work on it. Boys, get in here! <laughs> Last time we did this dance, you made your luck okay. Hurts for the rain, but otherwise dandy. Sweet of you to ask. Can't use the counter drug till I take out Tombstone's gang. <laughs> You have your marketing department cook that name up? I am the marketing department. I need to clear out his men before I try the counter drug. Someone's been skipping cardio. He's wearing down. I'm close. Ah! <laughs> 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 
drug work. Time to take him down. Oh, you know, particulated deblocking agent. The huge. He's exhausted. Time to end this. Man, my tongue's so slow. My tongue's supposed to feel funny. Oh yeah, totally. 100% normal. I think. I want to find you doing good. Running a soup kitchen or something. Soon a soup pays, I'll be. Your crazy drug lord days are done, please. Sure, for now. Hell of a run, though. <laughs> Not quite how I'd describe it. Oh! Oh. <sighs> That's new. Too much to hope you'll be taking it easier now that you're, uh, you know, mortal? <laughs> Not a chance. Threat of death just ups the thrill. Hell of a left hook. Can't wait for the rematch. I can. <laughs> I like you. Well, that was dramatic. I wonder how long Tombstone's powers will be negated for. Probably not long enough. Good work for now, though, Pete. Hats on the back all around. Have you ever seen a fire burn like that? Chem fire. Who knows what they had in this place? It was just a bike shop. So much for the opening act, main events inside. Let's dive right in. MJ, I'm at the third location. Apparently it's casual mask day at the office. Finally, a job where you'll fit right in. Until you start with me. Yeah, I have a feeling HR is not gonna be too happy with me. Sleep it off. New 
guys! I'm sure you'll do way better than these guys just like you who I wiped the floor with! Peter, that business is listed as an importer of computer parts. Huh. I didn't know they'd started making laptops out of guns. So it's an armory? Not for long. I'm about to get some payback for Jeff Davis and everyone else they killed at City Hall. More of them! Good! I meant to ask you, how do you deal with sneezing in your masks? Big problem for me! MJ, everything's quiet here now. You didn't get too carried away, did you? What they did was horrible, but... but you're not. Let's talk about Halloween, folks. It may be good fun for the kids to dress up as a cowboy or astronaut or ballerina and trick-or-treat, but this trend of grown adults glorifying the likes of Spider-Man by dressing up as them is, especially in the times we live in, disturbing. What say you, Gino from the Bronx? Yeah, well, I get your point, but my girlfriend got this sexy Spider-Girl costume, and it really spices things up, you know what I'm saying? Huh. I most certainly not. J. Jonah Jameson is not one to be judgmental, but you, sir, are an extremely disturbed man! Goodbye! Hey, sorry I'm late. Morning, Parker. Or is it evening? That doesn't matter. Check the neurosensors, would you? We need a faster response time. On it. Try to get it under three milliseconds. Looks like I could optimize this power relay. Thank you. 
Nice. Okay, what next? Looks like some impedance in this neurosensor circuit. Finished. Signal to noise is out of whack. A new signal processor should reduce lag. I got it, Doc. 2.8 milliseconds. Good work, Peter. I call that a mild success. I call that unbelievable. Do you need some help? Yes. Doctor, what's going on? It's become that obvious. My doctors call it a degenerative neurological disorder. Probably caused by overexposure to toxic chemicals in my reckless youth. Sorry, is, is, is there anything I can do? You already are. The worst part is, it only affects the muscles. The mind continues to work, but... it can no longer do. You're the only one who knows, Peter. 
I'd like to keep it that way. Of course. Uh, if you'd like to seek a position with more of a future... I, I came here to work for you because of what you've got up here. And that's not going anywhere. So neither am I. Oh, Peter, before I forget, I read the most fascinating article. Outlines possible next steps for the neural interface. I'll take a look. Thanks, Doc. Doc loves these things. He used them in grad school when he had to manipulate radioactive isotopes. Says seeing them keeps him humble. What is this, Doc? Never seen this type of material. Would you believe it's for welding? Provides remarkable magnetic insulation and limits cross-contamination between the neural interface and arms. Direct interface with the basal ganglia. Exciting, but risky. I don't know, Doc. You'll need a gallium silk array to make it work. Even then, odds of injury are pretty high. Gallium! Genius! Never mind the risks. We'll work them out in time. Doc's really sick. At this rate, he'll lose control of his motor functions within a year. And if we're not careful, an intracranial implant could make things even worse. Even alter his personality. We need to proceed carefully. Hmm. Peter is starting to suspect. He hides it, but I can tell. He's seen my twitch, noticed the decay of my fine motor control. Well, I'm the one who wanted a genius for an assistant. Of course he knows. I just need more time. My work can improve millions of lives. Save millions of lives. It can also save my own. I just need more time. Um, Doc, I'm sorry. My aunt just texted. No worries, Peter. I was thinking of taking a break myself. As soon as I check our telemetry data. Thanks. I'll be back in a few hours. Thank you again, Peter. Don't know what I'd do without you.